bill will be the 144,000. You're going to have other men that's, that's a part of one third. You're going to have your wives and your children that, that's a part of the one, the one third. And that's the elect. That's the chosen. Those are the ones that's going to be beamed up out of here. All right. Is there more to that? Um, now learn the parable of the fig tree When his branch is yet tender And putteth forth leaves You know that summer is nigh So likewise ye when you shall see all these things Know that it is near Even at the doors Verily I say unto you this generation Shall not pass till all these things Be fulfilled Heaven and earth shall pass away But my words shall not pass away You know that's basically Letting you know that when you see these things, you know, know that, that the end is, is, is near. You know, that Yahweh Shai is, is uh, coming soon. So that's why he said that, he said immediately after the tribulation of those days. So once you see Jacob's trouble happening, you know, and, and, and the things that, that we've been speaking of in the, in the prophecies of the scriptures, after, the, after that, the smoke clears, so to speak, from that, then that's when Yahweh Shai is coming. Yeah, when that tribulation, the time of Jacob's tr trouble is hot, you know when that thing kicks in, everything going to move fast. That's why it says immediately the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give a light and the stars shall fall from heaven and so forth. So when they start forcing you to take that chip, that's when you, when you know your salvation is, is, is near. You know, when they set up the guillotines, when they have the concentration camps, everything's going to move quick when, 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 uh, a second Corinthian, a second, um, second Ezra, the 15th chapter and the 16th chapter kick in. All right, when that actually is manifested and you experience it, that's when everything's going to move fast. So we can't wait for it to hurry up and happen, man. Because we're not going to be delivered ex except the, the uh, well, we have to experience the time of Jacob's trouble. And we want the time of Jacob's trouble to come. We want the forcing of the mark of the beast of the chip to come. All right? Yeah, because once that, once that, that happens, then, then you know that, that, uh, that, that this time is, is near. Because, you know, you have a lot of examples in the scriptures through prophecy. But also when you go back into the history, which was also part of the prophecy, uh, when you read the book of Daniel and the book of Revelation, you know, when it speaks about them, those beasts, you know, do you know that once... Those uh, beasts had already uh, uh, run their course and their empire was at an end. Then you know at the end of all of those empires, Yahweh Shai's kingdom was coming to be set uh, uh, forth on, on the planet. So now we're at the very end of that, of that last beast, which the last beast was what? The Roman Empire. When you read Daniel the seventh chapter, it spoke about four different empires, four different beasts. You know, you had the, you had the Babylonian, I'm sorry, you had the Greeks. You had the, uh, 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 the Babylonians that came after them. Then you had the Middle Persian Empire that came after them. Then you had the Roman Empire that came after them. Now we're, in, in, we're at the last leg of the Roman Empire because the Roman Empire had came up into power. Then it was wounded as it were to death, but then it came back into power. So now we're at the end of, 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 of the, uh, the prophecy in the history of, of this, uh, this last beast. And then it says that once this last beast is taken down, that's when Yahweh Shai's kingdom is going to be put back into power. So when you see these things, you're supposed to rejoice. You know, because really, if you look at it, technically, really nothing's really happening now. I mean, you have prophecies popping up of, of volcanoes and uh, uh, famines of the world, um, you know, uh, race riots and uh, different events taking place, uh, economic meltdowns and all different type of, of stuff uh, playing out on the, on the planet but it's not really happening. It's, it hasn't really kicked in to overdrive, so to speak. You know, once you see this thing break out all over the world, you know, and, and, and you see the seriousness of, of, of what's really going on, then you're going to know that we're, in that we're in that time. You know, because as, as the Apostle Tara was speaking of earlier, you know, when you first come into this thing as a, as a young man, you absorb a lot of uh, things. Your mind is like a sponge, so you remember a lot of scriptures, you know. But you're not really fully grounded. You're not, you don't really have the understanding, the spiritual understanding of those scriptures yet. Right. That's, that's why that, that's the apostle. Khan, that's what the, that the apostle uh, Tar just said. He said that's when Satan plays on, on, on your pride. You know, 
He, he gets into you. That's why scriptures speak about not being a novice, falling into the condemnation of the devil. You know? So there's, there's a certain uh, criteria, certain things that have to happen to bring you through that, 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 that path to lead you to, to the spiritual understanding of the scriptures, not just memorizing them. You got to be tried, too. Come. You got to be tested. A lot of them guys, they're young. They haven't really been tested. Nope. You know? I got a scripture for you, if I may. Okay, yeah. Uh, Oh, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Uh, the book of uh, Hebrews 5 and 14, it says, But strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age, even those, by whom, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised exercise to discern both good and evil. Now, I remember you had brought out a word, uh, experience which the word from the Latin means tried out. X means out, experience, appearance means to try, yep. try out. Yep. So you get tried out by being tested in this thing. That's how you gain experience. And not boasting or bragging, but you listening to your elders, we've, we've been <laughs> tested on, on many things yep. over the years. Like they make fun of us, they call us old men. We were once young men. Yep. All right, there's videos of Elder Tov, not a lick of gray. There's videos of myself, not a lick of gray. You, the videos of you, not a lick of gray. So we were young men. I was 25 years old when I came in this thing, man. Done. You know? So you calling us old men, you, you, sh you should look at that as an honor. Is it, yeah, these guys were young, but now they're old men in this thing. When you know? um, Noah was delivered, he was an old man. Yeah. But when he started his gospel, he was a young man. He was a young man. And that's a test. And there's many, hey, what we experience that you young Dudes having experiences, the fact that, you know, they speak about One West. Well, we were actually at One West, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. We speak about Ariah, High Priest Ariah, High Priest uh, 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 King Marshal, uh, High Priest Yaikwab. Uh, we actually knew, hey, look, I knew exactly where Yaikwab le lived. I, I've been in Yaikwab's room. He had a little, small little room. Uh, Yaikwab, uh, uh, Yaikwab's son, Ariah, lived right up the stairs. Uh, are upstairs or downstairs in that, uh, right around the corner from the school. Shaw, uh, priest, high priest Shaw, Shaw lived right down the street. I've been to his house. Yeshia, high, they call him high priest Yeshia. I've been to his house, man. Okay? Lahab, I've been, I've been, I've been Lahab. I've, I've been, I went to Lahab's house, man. I never went inside of his house. Well, one time he had a place, I went inside of it, man, you know? Uh, Masha, I've been to his house when he was living in the Bronx and he was living in Manhattan, man. I knew Masha's uh, 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 wife and his children, man, and his grandchildren. Right. So when guys say this about One West, and then you got guys like Baloo. Baloo acts like he's on our same level. First of all, Baloo, you've never been to Masha's house. You've never been to Yaquab's house. You were just a guy that was in the school, Okay. You wasn't no trusted dude, man. Okay? And then I'll say about Johanna, or, uh, General Johanna, pretty much what I did, I, I, as close as I was to them, Johanna was just as close. So that's all from experience. So when God tell you this and that and this happened, I can tell you what happened because I was there, man. And that's part of the experience, man. And like, 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 uh, Apostle Gabar said, you know, you said we're old, but guess what? We were in this thing when we were young. That's right, that's right. And then guys said, well, 30 years old, yeah, 30, 30 years means a goddamn lot, man.